Okay, welcome to part two. In this video, we're going to do the same thing again, build another application. But this time we're going to add what we call an application layer. Now in the first video, we said no. In this video, we're going to say yes and look at the implications. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is type in repo.bat and then template new, just like we did before. And we're going to accept the URL again if you haven't already done that. And in this case, we'll just do another version of Composer. But this time, we'll just call it Layer App. Okay, and we're just going to go through and accept the default. Now, when we get to the bottom of this, we ask the application layer question again. This time, we're going to hit yes. And in this case, we're presented with four options. The default is at the top, the Omni Kit streaming app. Then we've also got things like Omniverse Cloud Streaming and GDN Streaming. But the, let's stick with the default right now. So let's just go back. Now, this is an important step that people could be missing. Um, you actually have to hit Spacebar here. So the Spacebar locks it in, like locks in that selection. And then once you have that, you go ahead and hit Enter. Okay, great. And then as normal, you just do Repo Build. And it's going to go ahead and build. Great, that's finished. So now we've built it. We just type in repo at launch. But this time something different is going to happen. When we do the repo launch, we're going to get an offer to choice between the original app, the layer app, and layer app streaming. So let's go ahead and do layer app streaming. And that's going to start a normal USD composer, but with a special addition to it. Now, whilst that's booting up, let's go ahead and boot up my Explorer and we'll take a quick look at this. Okay, so in the actual Explorer window, we can see now that we have two kit files. Here's the original layer app. And right next to it, we have the layer app streaming. Now, let's take a look at these in VS Code. Right, that's the first one. And this is the second one. Great. So now we can take a look at these in detail. The first one, the layer app, is just a standard kit file. And you can see here the dependencies are just listed out as normal. Nothing's really changed here. But this would be a complete kit file you could run as a template. The difference with the streaming, which is an application layer, is what we've done is we've taken the entire kit file of layer app and actually nested it inside the streaming version. And then we just added our own essentially additional extension, which in this case is the live stream WebRTC extension. So the reason this is so powerful is rather than having to build an entire new kit file, with entire new properties and new settings, we have nested it and just added in the original file. And then on top of that, gone ahead and added the additional extension. Now you can see how powerful this could get because you could essentially have this as a base file, your, your primary base file for you or your company. And then you could make multiple variations of that base file with additional extensions layered on top and just referencing the original kit file. And this is essentially the power of application layers.